this week i spent a lot of time completing the fabric basket for my closet it was a project that demanded patience and perseverance as i encountered and overcame a few unexpected challenges along the way but let me tell you the feeling of accomplishment and pride I experienced upon completing these baskets was truly beyond compare. At the moment, I am focusing on weaving the M edges of the fabric baskets with my solder to give them a clean and durable finish. After completing the sewing, my husband generously assisted me in washing the baskets. Thanks to his help, I am able to share this progress video with you. For our meal this week, I decided to prepare a creamy corn stew. To achieve the perfect flavor and texture, I slowly boiled the corn on low heat for two hours. I also used a large crushed bell pepper, a medium sized crushed onion, a saute of tomato paste, the water from boiling the corn, and four boiled eggs to add protein to the stew. I crushed some of the boiled corn in my blender and blended the rest to achieve a creamy consistency. Let me share a little backstory about this new corn dish. I have had a bowl of corn sitting in my pantry for a while now. Previously, I had made a bean and corn dish with half of it, but my husband wasn't too keen on the combination. Since then, we have not eaten corn in the house. This time, as I started craving corn again, I had to get creative with the ingredients I had at home. Surprisingly, my husband loved the new corn recipe. Not only did he finish his entire plate, but he also raved about how tasty it was. Now it will become a go-to recipe in our household for sure. This experience has made me think about how wonderful cooking can be. It's amazing how you can turn basic ingredients into something truly delightful, even though it's not necessarily perfect. After frying all the ingredients together, I added a blend of seasonings including turmeric, curry, all-purpose seasoning and a touch of salt. We enjoyed the stew with some ofada rice and complemented the meal with freshly made soy milk, which I demonstrated how to make in my video number two. You can check it out. Once the fabric baskets were dry, I carefully packed them and inserted the framework, which I made using cut up cartons that I cut to each size of the basket. Despite facing some constraints in terms of time and light during the process of making this basket, the end result was definitely worth the effort. I am eagerly looking forward to setting them up in my clothes hat and appreciating the organized space they will provide. I am excited to share more with you in my next video. Sending love and warm hugs your way.